What is up you guys? My name is Elias and I love movies. If you guys are like me and you absolutely love movies and are pretty much open to many many different types of films, I can only assume that you guys love talking about movies like I do and sometimes you have conversations with people that don't necessarily understand the passion. But I want to talk about certain comments that always piss me off. Like whenever people say that they absolutely hate black and white films and not certain ones but all black and white films. One, two, three. Get a movie house! Okay, so like I was saying, people that love movies tend to talk about movies all the time. Of course, we don't like it whenever somebody says that they dislike the movie or a certain movie that you absolutely love. But of course, I'm sure we can all agree that it's always fun to argue. It's one of those things that film buffs or cinephiles really enjoy doing. I personally know a lot of people, like a lot, probably most of the people that I personally know, they don't like black and white movies. They refuse to watch black and white movies. Not certain ones, all black and white movies. If a movie is made in black and white, they will not watch it. They won't care for it. And that's something that I honestly don't understand. If you refuse to watch a movie because it doesn't have color, but you're willing to watch any movie with color, then you're obviously watching movies for all the wrong reasons. I'm gonna watch a movie because of the story, because of the characters, because of the plot, because of everything that is going on within the story. Truth is, color can get distracting sometimes. And yes, it does look beautiful in certain films. There's a lot of cinematography that goes into black and white films because it's not just black and white. There are so many different levels of white and so many different levels of black and lots and lots of different levels and varieties of different types of gray. One might even say that shooting in black and white film and making it look good might be a little bit harder than shooting a movie in color because whenever you shoot a movie in color those colors can be distracting but at the same time because your eyes are used to seeing in color it kind of just blends into the background you almost don't even think that you're looking at a blue sky because you know the sky is blue but whenever you watch a black and white film you want to keep the audience interested in the characters so you don't want the background to be distracted I am really hoping that I'm making sense here. I just don't like it whenever people say that they hate black and white films when they haven't seen every single black and white film. And most of those people haven't even seen one black and white film. They just have the idea that it's gonna be boring and look horrible and nothing about it could ever be interesting. And that's just wrong, it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, are you watching a movie because you're hoping that you watch and learn an amazing story that might affect you and your emotions? Or are you watching a movie because it has pretty colors? Because if that's the case, then you might as well just stick to staring at paintings. Sit in front of your computer and look at paintings all day. Which, by the way, a lot of paintings are also in black and white. Pablo Picasso did a lot of black and white stuff, and so did MC Escher, which is one of my favorite artists. I mean, to say that all black and white films are horrible is just wrong. There are a lot of classic movies that are amazing that are in black and white. Like, Casablanca is definitely one with amazing characters with a great story that everyone should check out. Out. So what if it's black and white? Sunset Boulevard is one of my all-time favorite movies. I mean that movie is just an amazing, amazing, fantastic story. If you guys haven't seen Sunset Boulevard, definitely check it out. And of course, you can't forget Alfred Hitchcock. Everything that he's ever done, whether it's black and white or color, is something that everyone should check out. But aside from the classics that are black and white, there are also a lot of modern movies that are in black and white that didn't necessarily have to be black and white, but the filmmakers made that artistic decision and it works. Movies like Raging Bull by Martin Scorsese has one of the best performances ever because it's such a a great story that's character driven and you're not distracted by the fact that the movie is black and white because there's not one boring moment in Raging Bull because there's so much going on with these characters that just has your eyes and ears glued to the movie. Also movies like Manhattan which is my favorite Woody Allen film is amazing and again it has great characters. You see these characters have amazing conversations so you're not really distracted by what's going on around them or the fact that there is no color. And again it's a great artistic choice because it works for these types of stories. Just because a movie is black and white doesn't mean it's gonna be boring or it's gonna be horrible. I mean, seriously. Whenever people think about black and white movies, they usually think it's gonna be a drama for some reason. No, it's not always a drama. Movies like Clerks, yes, it's in black and white because of the budget, 
but it's just a bunch of characters having amazing conversations. Another movie is Francis Ha, same thing, black and white, and it's just a bunch of characters having awesome conversations. They just feel very real, so the fact that it's black and white isn't distracting at all, and it works. Instead of being focused on the wallpaper or the color of the carpet or the color of the sky, the color of their cups and plates, we're focused on the people, their emotions, what they're going through, their story, this little tiny piece of their life that we have been welcomed to watch. All of your attention goes to them. Also, the Coen brothers did a black and white movie. They did The Man Who Wasn't There, which is an amazing movie. It's not one of their popular ones. I don't know if people aren't watching it or they don't know about it, but The Man Who Wasn't There by the Coen brothers is definitely one of my favorite of theirs. And it's really, really sad that it's not as popular as it should be. And of course, how can we forget not just the black and white, but black and white silent film, The Artist, which won an Oscar in 2011. I mean, who would have thought that not just a black and white film, but a black and white silent film that was made in 2010 or 2011 would win an Oscar for Best Picture? Of course, I'm not saying that award shows are always right and they know what's best, but the fact that a black and white silent film that was created that year won an Oscar, like, Let's be honest here, it says a lot. I just really don't like it when people say that they don't like black and white movies, like it's a genre, because it's not. Another one of my favorites is White Heat with James Cagney. Yes, I am a gangster fan, and White Heat is definitely one of my favorite gangster movies of all time, and James Cagney's performance is brilliant. People can say they don't like horror movies. I get it, you don't like horror movies, you get scared, that I can understand. But to say that you don't like black and white movies simply because there's no color, to me personally, doesn't make any sense whatsoever and I don't think it ever will. Like I said before, if a person refuses to watch a black and white movie, any black and white movie, but they're willing to watch any movie in color, then they're obviously watching movies for all the wrong reasons. And that's just my personal opinion. I mean, you guys wouldn't believe how many times I recommend so many movies to so many friends and people that I know. And at first they seem interested, but the second I mention the fact that it's black and white, they're like, oh man, I can't watch black and white movies. They're boring. And I'm thinking, really? Because I just spent five minutes talking to you about it and you were very, very interested. But all I had to do was mention that it's black and white and you just like lose all hope and faith for the film. Really? Another thing that really bothers me is whenever people say that they just won't watch black and white movies, but they also refuse to watch anything that was made before like 1975 or 1980s because all classic movies are horrible. How does that make any sense? But of course, I'm not gonna get into that because I'll just get even more and more pissed off. I guess right now would probably be a really good time for me to end this video before my head explodes. Let me know if you agree with me. Let me know some of your favorite black and white movies if you have any. And if you're one of the people that doesn't like black and white movies for all of the reasons that I just mentioned, then please just find help. But as always, thank you guys very much for watching. Like the video if you want to see more, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you for watching Gary Movie House. Like, comment, and subscribe for my videos. Peace out, homies.